Hello everyone, my name is Dai Yao. This is my student card. You can see my ZID here. Welcome to today's presentation on entering the solar system. In this journey, we will explore the optical velocities of different planets in our solar system, taking a closer look at the wonders that lie beyond our home planet. First, we will talk about Kuiper's law. Uh, the first law is called ellipse, elliptic law. Uh, this law explains that the orbits of the planets around the sun are elliptical and uh, that the sun lies at one of the focal points of the ellipse. Uh, the second law is law of equal areas. It describes that uh, a line segment uh, connecting a planet to the sun sweeps through an equal area in equal time. The third law is law of harmony, um, states that the square of the optical period of a planet's orbit around the sun is proportional to the cube of the half-length axis of its orbit. Uh, now we are answering question 9. The planets have large masses compared to their moon, but the difference is small, so they revolve around a center of mass that is closer to the planetary center. In contrast, in the sun heaven planet system, uh, the sun's mass far exceeds that of the planets, resulting in a center of mass that is almost always inside the sun. The optical properties of the planet have a moon system are largely influenced by the planets, while the sun's gravity dominates the orbits of the sun have a planet system. The moon has a tidal effect on its planet, while the sun has a wilder effect on its planets, such as seasonal change. Now move to question 11. Based on the ruler uh, on the graph, we can see that the distance of each grid is approximately equal to 0.49 AU. Uh, since the distance is adjusted by me artificially, there is a high probability that uh, there is a little area. So uh, for the sake of our calculation, we can assume 0.5 AU here. Um, uh, now, uh, uh, move to question 14. Uh, despite the distance after varying the uh, distance between planet and the star and the co corresponding velo uh, velocity vectors, the ratio of the optical periods of the planets to the cube of the half-length axis is roughly the same for all planets. In according with Kuiper's third law, which uh, the data are shown to follow to a large extent. Uh, the question 15 is a little bit basic. Uh, Mercury uh, has the farthest orbit in our solar system because it is the closest to the sun and uh, is subject to the greatest gravitational pull, requiring higher speeds to maintain a stable orbit. Uh, in contrast, uh, Neptune as the planet furthest from the sun uh, have the slowest optical speed. The distance in mass ratio optical characteristics uh, dominate for, uh, force and the center of mass position between the planet heaven satellite system and the sun heaven planet system determine their uh, respective optical dynamics and affect the optical velocities and stability of the planets. Um, this exploration uh, furthers our understanding of planetary orbits and the basics of uh, astronomy, visualize Kuiper's law and enrich our knowledge of solar system. Uh, it demonstrated the enduring relevance of Kuiper's law and uh, astronomical dynamic in astronomy. Uh, due to the time constraints, I've only briefly answered the questions here, and there are more and more details explanations in my document. Perhaps you, Miss Kate, uh, could listen to my explanation of this question while reading answers, which might be more comprehensive. Thanks for listening.